beautiful people! <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> Psychic Debbie here <laughs> and Hannah. <laughs> We're so so excited to tell you of our up and coming retreats. Yay! Yay! And we're excited to be back yes. together, together again. again. <laughs> she was in. You were in Minnesota so, for, for like, like a month. A yeah. month. It was crazy, but I'm really happy you had yeah. a good time. Yeah, you, you needed I, it. I yeah. needed time with my grandkids. And yeah. Stuff, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's awesome. It was a lot of fun. Well, welcome back yes. to Thanks. lovely, beautiful LA. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm super duper happy. So. Let's talk about these retreats. Okay. Let's talk about these retreats, baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're going with that. I don't know if it's that kind of a retreat. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Maybe spiritually, soulfully, yes, release happy, <laughs> joyful <laughs> retreats. And we have an announcement too. Yes. That, um, all right. So let's start with the announcement. I think that's going to be okay. the biggest one. So. Um, these might be the last retreats that you'll have an opportunity to be with us for the foreseeable future. Um, don't panic. Everything's fine. We're good. We're still friends. No. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but I like, I definitely feel a shift coming for 2025 that I cannot predict. Yeah. I, there's some kind of thing coming up. Yeah. And I, I don't know I don't if you'll be on either. a show and like won't have time to even be with us. I mean, we'll see. Or, or maybe or do stuff this, online. Yeah. Maybe having classes online or whatever. Or maybe creating an, a completely different kind of retreat. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But something is trying to birth uh, yeah. from within us. And if we stick to the same program, it's not allowing us to grow. Right. That's what we're feeling. So with that said, we wanted to come on and just let you guys know, like, if you want to experience us in a retreat, this is it. Like, come to this these is ones. It. <laughs> one day at a time. Yeah. So it's Oh, I don't know that one. I know the this is it. Make no mistakes. Who you are. This is it. <laughs> okay. I was like, this is it. One day at a time. Okay. <laughs> with Valerie Bertinelli and all those guys. And then Rita. Murano has a new one oh, of really? one day at a time. Yeah. Oh, but anyways, oh, major, <laughs> major <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> keep that squirrel closer. <laughs> We're just going to keep it right here because there might be a lot of those moments. <laughs> there Sorry. you go. He's going to be over here. <laughs> yeah, but it's like if you want to really be in the power of like Sedona or Brazil, yeah. um, this is the time to do it. And oh, yeah. Sedona, we even have people that hit, were, did our first Sedona retreat, and they're coming back. That's yeah. how powerful it just is. Just this April, like yeah. months ago. <laughs> just this April. And we have two women, and they're bringing a friend. So we love you, you yeah. both ladies. They know who they are. Um, and then two people from who came with us to Sedona a few months ago are coming with us back to, to, Brazil, to Brazil now to have a whole new experience with um, a different type of medicine, plant right. medicine, right. in addition to breath work. So it's really exciting things coming up. And even with the Sedona, we're going to uh, quirk a little couple things, bring some new things, um, modalities into that too, yeah. so that they have a new, a new way of coming through. Yeah. But let's talk about Sedona first. Okay? Yeah, we wanted to. So if you are interested, if you're thinking like, oh, I really want to go and if you need like an extra little like nudge from the universe, nudge, 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 not nudge. 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 It, nudge, you know, in some parts of the world, they might say nudge. Nudge, <laughs> nudge. You need, nudge. Little, you need a little nudge. Let us give it to you. <laughs> Where were you telling? Who doing? You doing some nudge. This no. is basically the retreat. Okay. <laughs> This is basically the joy and the silliness and the playfulness. Yes. And you could say nudge and we'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be hilarious. We don't care. But yeah, the, consider this your last open invitation, you know, with arms extended. And we'll let you know kind of what you can expect. Because some people are like, maybe you've never been on a retreat before. Maybe, right. uh, which we had like a few people that were like, I've never been on one. Writing to us a little nervous and... Um, we're just excited. We have a really good group of people that are already coming and we're excited right. for all of their like heartfelt intentions to. So if you have an intention in your life, like what, what would you say, like a space that they're at in life where this type of Sedona retreat would be good for them? What kind of person do you see like coming to our retreats? People that have blockages. 
Okay. Like Something a, maybe that their subconscious is getting in the way. Okay. Like me. Blockages with like um, relationships. Relationships, or? money, health, spirituality, intuition. Because yeah. we even play games where you're like, why are we doing this? Yeah. Like there's the hand drawing game. Yeah. That, yeah, that yeah. I, you know, Those are that fun. spirit showed me to do the hand drawing thing. And you'd be surprised how many people, it's like, see, your insight is really powerful. And the people are like, what? You know, because you're getting your input. So it's like learning to be intuitive in a whole different way. Understanding that, like, if you're someone who's spiritually curious, I would right. say, like, that's that's definitely someone who would be good for this, right? You um, want to know if, like, you really have intuition and you're ready to tap into it. This would be one of those great opportunities to come. And through, like crazy exercises fun yep. and playful exercises yep. where you wouldn't even think like is this doing anything this is not the typical normal clairvoyant clairaudience exercises i don't do those yeah they're it's, super it's fun diff- yeah they're super fun clearing your auric space and soul collages and um, intuitive games and things like that plus we bring you to some really spiritual places so the vortex is like in Sedona, you know, you hear about the vortex as well. We are bringing you to places that not everybody goes to. Okay. Yeah. So it's so not like, the norm. Yeah. You so, know? so someone looking, so if you've never been to Sedona and you're like, oh, I've heard great things about it. it. People keep talking about these vortexes. What are all these vortexes? There's legit signs that yeah. say this is a the vortex. vortex. <laughs> right. And you'll sit there and stuff will open up. You will feel energy in Sedona like... I think that's what like the beauty about our retreats is we right. choose places around the world where there is this type of um, you know energetic frequency, right. a resonance that is conducive to doing healing work, to opening up spiritually, that kind of stuff. Right. Because this doesn't. I mean, just because we might not be doing a Sedona retreat or Brazil retreat, who knows? Maybe we do one in Portugal or one in Ireland. Or, oh, there's places all around. There's the a world. world that we could yeah. be going to. Yeah. But. For right now, the Brazil and the Sedona one is probably going to be on hold for at least uh, a year and a half, two years. Yeah. So, yeah, but if, we if, if, we if spirit, the we, yeah, if spirit says, oh, you need to open up, you know, next fall, you need to do a Sedona retreat or whatever, then maybe we'll do it. But we're giving you an opportunity um, because I've been hearing a lot of people going, oh, I'll go the next time. I'll go the next time. I'll go the next time. Well, there might be not a next time. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It might be a, a whole different platform. Yeah. And we know that these retreats are a lot of fun, a lot of joy. You meet a lot of like-minded people. So like if you're a spiritual person, I hear that all the time too. And I'm the same way is like, oh, I, I can't find the same like-minded people. The pe- same yeah. people that are going through the same things that I am or that needs. Because a lot of times uh, needs comfort and, and joy or being embraced. Like our last Sedona retreat, Jerry came and he connected with Jose. I think he got a lot more from the breathwork guy yeah. than maybe even from us. Do you know what I'm saying? But it was it was supposed to, we were all a soul family that we know for sure. Yeah. I mean, connected and fun and joy and everything like that. So you can also connect to a soul family or maybe even find a soul friend. Do you know what I mean? If you don't get along with everybody, that's fine. New friendships, definitely friendships, can form. big time, big time, and it's like and each of us helping each other to growth. It's like, oh, that person understands me. I connect with them, or that person is like me. I understand them, and it's like connection. It's not just me and Hannah that are helping you with these these retreats yeah. it's the people that are, are joining in also and i'll give you an example too like so a lot of people that have expressed interest and you know kind of been like who are these spiritual seekers you know um i would say that there's a there's something about you that is seeking something in this right. life and um this could be in the form of like a healing um and it could be all types of healing i would say like traumatic events that have happened throughout your life um grief if you're someone who experiences, um, you know, just that there's some stuck energy around grief, that would be something. Like, I'm just thinking of examples of people saying, you know, I've had this or I've experienced the loss of this person or I, you know, I've been divorced and something hasn't something hasn't changed after that. Like, they're stuck, I would also say. Like, right. if you feel like there is something that's stuck 
or um, or maybe like you don't experience grief or you're not stuck and you're just really wanting something. You're closed off and yeah. you need to want to New. open. Yeah. yeah. If you know that stepping out of your comfort zone and going on retreat and if you resonate with us and right. our energy and who we are as people. Then that's the kind of energy that's going to be there. Yeah. If you feel like you're just going to have a blast and have a lot of fun, that's also so, the type of person that just wants to jump yeah, in yeah. and go. Yeah. Because you know? the last one, we were laughing every single freaking day. It was, I mean, it was it so was, good. And then if it needs to be serious, it'll be serious too. Oh, it, I mean? it is uh, though. Yeah. It, it always yeah. is. There's always going to be moments of like deep seriousness. <laughs> like, yeah. Depth, emotional depth. And then all of a sudden, lightheartedness and laughter right. and playfulness. And it, I think I think all of that. And it's both, were, both retreats. I feel like. A lot of emotions comes up where you could where there where you, we saw some people be upset, you know, crying. It's like I don't know why I'm crying so much, and it's because yeah, you're finally releasing it. You know, like how when you have one of those big deep cries, you're like, <laughs> and then it's not coming out of your nose, and you're like, eh, they, you, uh, you know, one of those kind of cries. <laughs> but then when you're done with one of those cries, what do you do? You wipe yourself off, and you're like, okay, let's go play. And people are like, oh my what? gosh, what's okay. wrong with you? I'm, right? I have to have this like share for a minute. <laughs> I was in one of those cries once, and I had this friend who was like right by me, and I'm, it was one of those things, like yeah. full on. <laughs> and um, and then she looked at me, and she's like, can I just say, you've never looked more beautiful in your whole life. And I was like literally staggering i'm like what and she was like because you're breaking free and i was like eh. and then we were on the ground uh, like in this open field <laughs> my hand was on the ground she was and um i just wanted to tell you that's poo <laughs> <laughs> my hand was in dry petrified cake white poo and i was like thank you and then i laughed so hard and it was like so Such hilarious releasing. oh my god i can't even i'm not saying you're going to do that the poo, you know, in your hand. But I am going to say like, okay, so here's the thing. You're you going to go through emotions. You're going through emotions, but we also chose it during eclipse season and the eclipse portal. So let me talk a little bit about eclipses and why we chose to go to Sedona. Um, eclipses are times when the sun and the moon come together in these powerful conjunctions and oppositions. Their energy is either planting a seed for you to really create something new on your life path. Right. Or it's the moment of harvest where you're going to pull from the tree, right? Everything that either is like celebrating and you're, you're celebrating it or I'm getting rid of this. I'm excavating from my garden because something completely new needs to come in. That is what happens during eclipse season. Right. And so in Sedona, it's going to be a full moon lunar eclipse. It's taking place in the sign of Pisces. And I know not everybody... And I'm a Pisces rising. You're a Pisces rising. Yeah. Fairy godmother makes so much sense, right? <laughs> like, Pisces is super spiritual. So what I what I envision for uh, like a full moon in Pisces kind of uh, feeling, um, it's going to be emotional, right? It's a watery sign. There's going to be something also that has to deal with like your role as a human versus the spirit of you talking to you in this lifetime there's going to be some sort of release and like really fully embodied release and i'm excited because um for the first time i'm going to incorporate some dance for the participants and we have um so there is this um everybody's gonna have you know like the headsets kind of like the silent dance stuff mm -hmm. it's gonna be very playful it's gonna feel very sacred about it even if you've never danced before in your life i think people are really gonna enjoy um some of the stuff we have planned yeah. so it's gonna help your body to really like let it go right because that's that's what's supposed to happen Letting during the go. full moon just surrender we do and it in go. spiritual like um like the sedona one where a spiritual creek and river mm, and by yeah. a vortex there so it's just so pretty and we bring you to um a huge labyrinth here so let me show you this is a football size la oh s s football size labyrinth look uh, at the people there so you can pretty. see it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And it's like, I don't know, what does it take? About 45 minutes for that powerful yeah, labyrinth? Least. And it's like bringing in your the blockages and then you walk out releasing, you know, receiving. Yeah. So it's like releasing and receiving 
from Mother Earth. You know, that's just one of the power things that in Sedona. We also go to um, we also go to what's it? The Holy Cross. Uh, yeah, Church of the Holy Cross. That's the view from the Holy Cross. Look at that group. Look Isn't at that, that group. Such happy people. Look at that group. <laughs> See, look at how fun we were having. It was oh. such such a powerful time. Such yeah. a powerful time and we still communicate with the people do you yeah. know what i mean we're still they're talking with each other and everything else too yeah we'll put together a whatsapp thread and everybody is still communicating months later everybody's like hello right. family we wake up good morning it's it's crazy right. how i'm connected. going through a hard time please send prayers. send prayers going through a good time please send prayers you know, I sent them pictures, even if they didn't want to see them, pictures of my grandchildren having fun. <laughs> <laughs> or me going down a water slide and my legs are... <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Up in the air, I was like, <laughs> down that water slide. It was like, and the grandkids are like, way to go, Grandma. So I, to the point, I had an old lady go, oh, my God, I would never go down that slide. I can't believe you went down that slide. Such a good picture. I loved it. We should have put that one on it yeah. so you could see. See my... <laughs> ah! Yeah. Oh. That's but good. it's it's that bringing that kind of energy in, you know, bringing you to vortexes, doing spiritual exercises like aura clearing and um, um, intuitive exercises or the soul collage yeah. that Hannah does. That's really, really powerful. Oh, so, cool. so it's just so a lot of fun. We try to blend it where it's serious, not so serious, serious, not so serious, so yeah. that it's not like bam, 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 you know. Yeah. Like I said, like we've said before um, on our other retreats, we literally had people go, don't give us so much work. Do not give us so much work. Believe it or not, how many retreats hear that? <laughs> yeah. Not too many. I, I think they would hear the opposite of like, could you give us a little more? <laughs> literally, people have told us... Um, not so much. We provide, Not so much. We just provide. We we give so much. Right. To everybody. We want to give so much, and there's so much more we could give, but we just don't have the time. Yeah. So. Yeah. And yeah. then the breath work itself. Um, Which Hannah's going to be doing. I'll be leading the breath work this time in Sedona, and I was blown away. Like I'm someone who has worked with a lot of plant medicine throughout my life for healing. Um, I've done all kinds of healing modalities, actually, all kinds. And this holotropic breath work that we did it in Sedona was, I think it really blew everybody away. Mm -hmm. And what I love so much about it is that it's you relying on your own breath. Yeah. Like something that you don't have to go anywhere else in the world to find. You know, it's, it's just it's your you. power. It's your yeah. Yeah. And so it really there really is this sense of empowerment through breath work. And um, I mean, people had experiences as if they were on plant medicine, like visions yeah. and, uh, you know, you tap in deep into the subconscious. So it's just a beautiful time. And we would love for you guys to come yeah. beca because this is going to be our last one that we can, you know, that we can like, see in the future yeah, for right future. now. We've extended the early bird um, special deadline for Sedona and for Brazil. So with Sedona, I think it's, do we write it down? Sedona dates are September 13th through, through the 18th. 18th. And let's uh, see, for the early bird, just pay in full by August 1st. So we're giving, we're extending it out another month. Um, and yeah, we would love to. Because what comes with it you. is transportation once you get there, once you get to the house. The retreat home. Uh, the retreat home. You get, uh, you sleep there. That's part of it. Accommodations, continental breakfast, breakfast. all the tours that we're going to do. The only thing it doesn't include is um, lunch and, and lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner and your flight yeah. there. Yeah. And, and to it. get to the house. The other um, Sedona retreat people, they called each other up and they rented a car yeah. together and like eight people drove all the way up to the house and used the car and drove all the way back down to Phoenix. So you could do that kind of thing too. So, yeah. and you would contact Hana or me, mostly Hana, cause I'm not good at it. <laughs> me. Uh, she would help you with <laughs> connecting with the people or saying, you know, she can yeah. even also help you with your flights where she can get help, not pay for it, but I mean, find I'll the, search. find, do find the search. flights. Yeah. She's really good at finding really cheap flights and things. Yeah. Stuff like that. So, Anything else about Sedona that you want to talk about? No, I think that's it. Okay, um, so then the next one. So Sedona, please. And if you want to go to Sedona, um, we'll put the information below in the information part. Yeah, the and, link tree. And, and put the link, link tree. tree on there. You can do Hannah's link tree, my link tree. Um, or if you need to write to me, Photo Psychic Debbie, Photo, P H O T O, Psychic, P S Y C H I C, Debbie, D E B B I E, at gmail.com. 
to if you can write to my email and say I'm interested in the information. Yeah. Hana or me will send you all the information that you need to know. Yep. And if you got questions of the breath work or the vortexes or aliens, what, UFOs, whatever, I got those there too. <laughs> yep, whatever you want. Ask me, uh, you know, for the retreat. Go ahead and ask me for that too. Yeah. What's your, to you. what's your um, email address if they want to write to you? Uh, you can do Hana. It's J-A-N-A at wildflowerswithin.com. Flowers with an S. Yeah. Wildflowerswithinswithin.com. Yeah. Okay. So if you want that information. So the next one that we have da, 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 is the Brazil. Sa- Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> okay. So um, it's the uh, Sacred Water Solar Eclipse <laughs> Retreat in Bahia. In Bahia. I cannot wait to be back in yeah. Bahia. I can't wait to be back at that ocean in that paradise working with Patricia, the lady who's coming to do our ayahuasca ceremonies for us. Um, where, where do we even start with Brazil? What do you want to start with? Um, the ocean is completely different than the Pacific Ocean, if you've been to the Pacific or even the Atlantic. I get it as part of the Atlantic, but it's, it's it's different. Perfect waters. Yeah, it's just... Perfect temperature. The temperature. We even had a turtle about this big. We oh, had a couple yeah. turtles swimming with us. Because we'll go to the ocean a couple times. We're going to go to um, a whale watching. Ugh. So we're going to go to the whale watching. And what's and that's a sacred ceremony too, right? So that we go whale watching. We're and- gonna do that after we do our plant medicine journey. So what I love, okay. First of all, let's just talk about the setting. Okay, okay. Brazil is. You got to think like back when this is the house. Um, yeah, that's that's the retreat home. It's so gorgeous. Yes, we have that whole house, that whole pool, that whole section. The whole thing. It is all inclusive. All of our meals, delicious Brazilian cooks are making us like such good breakfast, lunch, dinner, all of it. And um, beautiful accommodations. The room, the home is just stunning. It's it's in a gated private community in the town of Trancoso, which is, um, you know, a really cute, artsy, low key, but like very chic at the same time, Mm -hmm. beach town. And lots of famous, like Anderson Cooper has a home there and, you know, probably the owners of like all the banks and stuff like that. It's a pretty yeah. fancy place, but you wouldn't think it's, the, the energy is just so relaxed, yeah. right? Yeah. Like just super yeah. cool. Um, so apart from that, like it's, it's, I was going to say like back when the world, remember Pangea, like when the world was just one yeah. like piece of land. Okay. So Africa is the cradle of the world. Well, you've got to think. Brazil was right there. Yeah. Okay. So it broke off. So if um, it there is this energy of like that motherland when you're there. And what's beautiful about this retreat is we're going to use medicine from the land to take in as part of our healing process. Um, you know, lots of people talk about ayahuasca like if you've researched it or if you don't know what it is essentially it's the combination of a vine and a leaf from the amazon rainforest and mixed together it forms this they cook it down and it's this sacred tea and it's considered the energy behind it they call it grandmother wisdom grandmother medicine the soul of the the vine of the soul and it it has been, you know, loads of people have had a spiritual experience drinking the tea for their own healing, for understanding traumatic events in their life, for what, what would you say like? Well, what, PSTD, what, for, um, for uh, grief. We had a person lost their husband and son and i mean massive change yeah mass i was like all that all that release that grief that anger that they're you're they were carrying on it could be with relationships it could be that you're addicted to drugs or alcohol addictions addictions to be cut um negative thoughts you're like uh, in depressive state i'm not saying you know we're not doctors and we're not the healers and we're not you know we're not saying that uh, you know but can it shift for you yes and it's the process of allowing and accepting. That's where some of our other exercises. 
Patricia, mm-hmm. the one that's doing it, the shaman, this woman shaman, she's been doing it for how many years? Over 20 years. 20 years, and she's also a psychologist, right? She's a psychologist. Just, yeah, she's an initiate in a lot of different spiritual lineages, Kabbalah being one of them. And what I love about Patricia is like, okay, we call her a shaman, but I don't really think she would give herself that title. I'd she, say mother love. Yeah, like <laughs> she's, she's not... very motherly. She's not a showy shaman you Mm -hmm. know what i mean like when you walk in the room and you're like oh that person must be like a medicine person that's but what happens is you may pass by her in a room and all of a sudden you're like i love that energy right you know that is patricia and i also love that it's a woman leading the works leading the ceremony because it's a heavily dominated masculine space you know you think of a shaman as like a, a man kind of leading the you right. know, the village or the indigenous peoples. But this is, it, it's important for us to have this matriarch sort of energy and presence. And she's just, she's and, just mother love. And people are like, you know, I, I, she's the only one that I've done it with, but I've heard that she tests you. She doesn't sit there and go, here, you take this whole cup of tea. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She'll give you a drop and you'll go, okay, do I feel it or I don't feel yeah, it? Yeah, she's conservative. She, she's very conservative and she will have like a really strong tea or a, even a light tea. That's what she did last time. Yeah, she did. And so it was That's like, right. and by her, um, she'll ask you a bunch of questions and all that kind of stuff. So she, it's not like she's just giving you the tea and going, bye, see you later, have fun. You know, yeah. she's literally going through, you know, she'll have you answer questions and she will ask you questions and talk to you and she'll vibrationally, intuitively and um, scientifically see where you're at and say, oh, maybe you should just take a little or maybe you need to take more or whatever. She's really good at, so it's not like, it's something not to be scared of. It's almost like she slowly allows you to process. It's like, here's a drop. Oh, I didn't really feel anything. See, it's not hurting you. Here, we'll give you another drop. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit more. Yeah. Do you want, and she'll even ask you, do you want more? Yeah. And, and you're like, no. Some people say no. Other people are like, yes, it makes <laughs> me feel good. And she brings you more. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and, and you can say no. You could come to the trip. You could do the first day because we do two days. We're doing two days of ceremony. And right. One, the first day is going to be the on the actual day of the eclipse. Right. So in, incredible cosmic energy behind it. The eclipse is passing through Argentina and Chile. So we're going to be even closer to the the path of that um, solar eclipse that's right. taking place, which just means basically that the closer you are to the epicenter of things, the more intense of the... Um, of the cosmic energies you're going to feel so it's going to be a very strong work it's going to be a very healing healing works i should say because there's two of them um and and, it's through pisces right and this one so the full moon in sedona is through pisces Pisces. this is actually going to be a new moon solar eclipse in libra in the sign oh so balancing so it helps us balance things out yeah yeah venus ruled see where your scales are off you know, see where your scales have been broken in whatever, uh, you know, probably. And we'll also look at the astrology. I forgot to mention that in both of the retreats. Right. We ask during the intake form to put your date of birth, the time and place, and you'll receive a picture of your astrological chart and, um, a, you know, a, a page written up of where this is affecting you cosmically based right. off your natal chart so you're even going to get some insight into your own birth chart by right on and i tree. i give some information to oh, what yeah, spirit said life, yeah life path, path and, and i'll see you what life path you are and what so good. what why are you why are you here what's your reason for people that get readings from me a lot of times i will tell you what your life path is yeah. but i will do that on here in a little bit in more so it's kind of like a, a reading of your path thing there too. So yeah. we do a lot of clearing. We do a. Uh, it's just so much. I mean, there's so much we can't. Uh. It's so much. Oh, so uh, do you have an hour? I, no. I feel like that was kind of a squirrel <laughs> moment because we started by talking about whales and then we didn't talk about whales anymore. But I needed to talk squirrel about the ayahuasca before the whales because 
The whale excursion is going to be after the medicine work. Right. And what I love about that is, so spirit medicine of the animals, right? Uh, tapping into mother nature. Like this is a mother nature. Sedona is also. But in Brazil, it's even more emphasized because you're drinking from the earth. You're drinking the earth's tea. And then we're going out and doing these um, you know, this excursion with the whales. Whales are said to carry, I don't know if you've heard of this, that they're um, they're the Akashic record holders. No, I've whales, never heard of that. Whales and elephants. What about dolphins? Um, no, because they're, they're smaller. Small. Yeah, okay. they have to be like big, massive creatures. So elephants and whales are Akashic record holders. And wow. they, so we're tapping into, you know, there it's mating season, you know, like mm-hmm. there's going to be like just babies and, you know, like just, it's going to be. Maybe they'll be showing off kind of like, <laughs> kind of like our picture, right? <laughs> you know, the showing off of the, the whale, the whale tail. The whale tail, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the whale tail and really tapping and, and what whales do, you know, whales can communicate with one another from like miles away. And so it's almost like your spirit, what communication are you truly sending out in this new moon where you plant seeds of intention? The whales are coming in to help us send out those messages. Like right. we're using all of it, people. It's going to be so amazing. <laughs> the water water is a, a powerful conduit. And if you notice, we got oh, the pool totally. that you can use anytime. We are by the ocean. If, yeah, that pool is awesome. Yeah. There's, there's frogs that are yeah. those cute little frogs. They only come out at night, and then you're just, like, sitting there. And, and they're, like, looking at you going, ribbit. Yeah, yeah they're <laughs> super cute. Um, great yeah, the stars. Uh, yeah, the food. Uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Everything is included. Everything's included. Everything's included trip. except your flight in. Also, we're going to... Um, an indigenous um, village also. And that's oh, yeah. That was the chief and his wife. Yeah. Um, really beautiful people. Mirape Patasho is the, um, the indigenous people of the land. And we got to see their customs, um, their artists, their crafts that they make. Um, some of the hape, the crushed right. tobacco. Um, I think they call it snuff in right. English. Um, just really beautiful people. And also honoring and connecting. Like the land we're visiting, right? right? The indigenous people of the land we're visiting. So we go see them. We go to the indigenous village, and then we go to this restaurant that's really cool that's right on the beach. Yeah. And hopefully they're playing music again like yeah, they were doing last so time. Fun. So we're, you know, dancing to the music. And <laughs> to the point the band is like, don't go, because we got the, everybody starting to they dance. They loved us. Yeah. They were like. Because nobody was dancing, and then I'm like, you know, <laughs> come on, Julie, let's go dance. And she's like, okay. You know, mm-hmm. so we started dancing, and then everybody else started dancing. Yeah. And, you know, communicating and hugging and connecting. And then and then we're, we're leaving, and the band's like, don't go. We're like, well, we have to go. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's that's kind of fun. It's like historical, metaphysical, fun, indigenous. dance, indigenous. It's just whales. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be So it's not just paradise. retreat, retreat. You know, our retreats are not like, you know, okay, 9 to 10, you got to be, the, you know, go to this class, or 12 to 1, yeah. you, you go to that teacher. No, we're, we're connecting the earth with also the teaching yeah. you think oh we're just going to the beach but really you're learning new things yeah we're talking things out you don't realize that you're healing through the vortexes like in sedona or the ocean in brazil or yeah. or the indigenous land do you know what i mean it's even though you could be sitting there and not saying a thing and nobody's saying anything to you, it doesn't matter. It's still uh, ever changing. Yeah. So that's how powerful it can be. Yeah. So I wanted to read a couple of testimonials so that you hear. And that one is from September 29th to October 7th. Oh, yeah. Um, early bird by August 30th. Okay. Um, and again, go to, you know, the information below. Go to the link tree or go to my email or Hannah's email and ask us, you know, and we'll send you all the information. We would want you to pay in full by September 15th because the That's retreat, this is for Brazil. Because the retreat Bahia, starts on the 29th of September. And it ends October 7th. Okay. Yeah. We were going to have it later on, but. We'd miss whale season. We'd, we'd miss, yeah, yeah. And we want to see the whales. Yeah. We want to see the whales this year. So this is what um, our dear friend Gina said about Brazil. She said, this retreat will move your spirit and soul in ways unimaginable. You cannot fully prepare, so come with an open heart and mind and soak up all this experience has to offer. It is tremendous. 
Being a part of this journey doesn't just impact you, it touches the lives of the community there and the one you will return home to. Don't miss it. Wow. Thanks, Gina. That was really that, I sweet. mean, that was fantastic. <laughs> and then for Sedona, uh, let's see. Oh, someone else left it for, this is Brazil. Um, Sandra left this one. Debbie and Hannah uh, were great hosts for the Sacred Waters Retreat. They put a lot of work and effort into planning a great spiritual experience. The house was beautiful and serene, a perfect spot for our spiritual work. <laughs> These exercises were eye-opening and fun. You will find that you develop a spiritual and love connection with all who attend. That's so, so true. true. Everyone will get something different from the retreat, but you'll definitely feel your soul renewed. Thanks, Sandra. Sandra that was so nice. So nice. And then for Sedona, um, these were these were not public testimony, so I can't say the names of these people, but these are two that, that Again, I people are coming back. Yeah. That's how good Sedona is. Okay, so someone for Sedona said, I feel more stable, more alive, more assertive and peaceful and less anxious, depressed and sad that they felt whole again. Uh -huh. So that was really nice. And then another one put, my feelings have been validated. I grew as an individual spiritually beyond belief. My mind has been open to new acceptances and new findings emotionally. I have accepted my love, worthiness, and boundaries. What? <laughs> and yeah, that's why we do what was. we do. Yeah, that's why we do what we you do. Anonymous right. person, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yes. So maybe I don't know. Maybe it's that we are going to have to make a retreat here in LA or something. I don't know. I don't I, know what it I is. I have no idea. Because I know we're not done. Bringing. Yeah, we're not done, but it's just. It's Maybe changing. It's, it's changing. I don't and know if it's can't, Sedona or Brazil. We can't Brazil. do the same because something, Yeah, we, we have to grow. Yeah, something's we're, coming up. We're hitting so. a growth spurt and we don't know what that looks like. So if you want to come and join us, this is your opportunity. Duty. This is it. Okay. Make no mistakes. When you're something. Yeah, when you're who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's, you know, I like I said, if you're saying, oh, I'll just catch the next one, I'll catch the next one. There might not be a next there one. And if, if it is, there is a next one, it's going to be a while. So, yeah. and it could be, or in a different space or a different place. So, you know, yeah. um, isn't that a, <laughs> here I'm going to go squirrel again. <laughs> Getting it ready. <laughs> space. I'm ready for you, Debbie. Go. <laughs> isn't it cute? My squirrel. And Hannah's got the other squirrel that Jerry gave you. Oh, it's a yeah, yeah, we got a male. This is the female one. <laughs> it's, Hannah's got the male one that we'll bring with on our the retreats. Mine's too, called so. Captain Morgan. Yes. <laughs> so we need the pictures with you with the squirrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it gives you, you know. And we've got some fun surprises when you come on the retreat. There's yeah. um, certain gifts and goodies that you'll get that yeah. we're not going to share because that's a secret. Right. Yeah. Shh. It's a secret. Yeah. So, but thank you. If you've been listening for this long, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and again, we'd love, love, love to see you and and these op great opportunities. Yeah. And great opportunities for us, too, to connect with you. And so if it Dona resonates. Or Brazil. Or even both. Yeah. We even have people doing both. So uh, whatever resonates with you, what's calling you, yeah. please let us know. And, you know, we can work things out. So, so, uh, yeah, photopsychicdebbie at gmail.com and Hana at wildflowerswithin.com. Um, dot dot com. <laughs> yeah, we got the dot com. Dot com. <laughs> dot com. Okay, so <laughs> the brain. Your oh. brain is crazy. I oh, know. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I know. So well. I know. <laughs> I did that. At, here we go, a squirrel. We were Bards and Nobles, and there was a squirrel puppet thing oh, and no i was way. in there and my granddaughter's like okay grandma <laughs> i'm like it's squirrel but anyways squirrel would love to see you there too yeah. we'd love to see you there Come like i said squirrel. if it resonates with you fantastic we'll embrace you we'll embrace your journey yeah. it's a spiritual journey that's what it is it's a spiritual journey and what you allow can come forward do you know what i'm saying yeah. and we can help you break the blockages and um to believe yeah. and receive kind yeah, of thing. Come, Do you know what I mean? Come heal ancestral wounds, come heal internal, uh, whatever. If you're stuck, if you're searching, if you just want to have fun, um, if you feel that call, this, right. this is your call. Okay. Right. This and is your call. We both have done the breath work. We both have done the ayahuasca. Yeah. Her more than me on the ayahuasca. I did it twice. 
to the point. Yeah, it was it was she's, amazing. She's amazing. Patricia is Patricia amazing. Patricia is amazing. She'll tell you if you need it or if you don't need it or yeah. if you just want to do it one day and you're like, I don't want to do the next day. That's okay. Yeah. We're not forcing you to do anything. Okay. So we want to give you blessings and smiles. We yeah. hope we see you at the retreat. If not, still keep on watching on Tuesdays, you know, Photo Psychic Debbie at Oh, photos. I'm sitting here doing the email. Ah. Psychic Debbie Griggs on YouTube on Tuesdays. I love, love, love seeing you guys there. Love. I'm back. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time. Thanks, everybody. We want to give you blessings and smiles and kisses and hugs. Mwah. Mwah. And we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.